The year 1994 is a year I personally have fond memories of. In the world of music, Korn would release their self-titled debut album. In the world of film, Pulp Fiction would hit theaters. And in the world of gaming, Street Fighter II would finally be dethroned as grand champ of the arcade, while Nintendo would strike back in the home market. Join us now as we look back at the year in gaming that was 1994. Nintendo's Project Reality is renamed the Nintendo Ultra 64. The console's prototype design is revealed to the public for the first time in spring. The second of two congressional hearings on video games takes place on March 5th. Topics for discussion include the depiction of violence and sexual content in video games, their influence on children, and the prospect of governmental regulation of video game content. A month following these hearings, the Interactive Digital Software Association would be founded which was later famously renamed as the ESRB, in order to self-regulate content for video games. Sadly, on November 10th, William Hickenbotham, the creator of Tennis for Two, the very first video game, dies at the age of 84. Sega would have a huge year this year, where they would launch the Sega Channel in cooperation with Time Warner. The subscription service provides Sega Genesis games via a cable box to customers. They also released the Sega 32X add-on for the Genesis, as well as releasing the Sega Nomad handheld, which was basically a portable Genesis. SNK would release the Neo Geo CD home console, Nintendo would release the Super Game Boy adapter for the Super Nintendo, and sadly Atari would discontinue the Lynx handheld system. Donkey Kong Country would win Game of the Year from both EGM and Game Informer, and it would also be the year's best-selling game with 6 million copies sold worldwide. Over in the arcade scene, Street Fighter II would finally run its course, paving way for Daytona USA and Mortal Kombat 2 to take the top highest grossing spots. On the home front, sales of the Game Boy would double from the previous year, scoring at the number one spot. However, the Sega Genesis still ruled the home market, selling 7 million units, just 800,000 more than the Super NES. In terms of new studios, Neversoft Entertainment would be founded, while sadly Commodore and Trade West would close their doors. Apogee establishes the 3D Realms Entertainment Division. While in the legal field, Alpex Computer Corp. would sue Nintendo. They would sue them over patent infringements related to the NES. Nintendo would lose the case. And Nintendo of America would sue Dragon Pacific Intern. Other game releases included Super Metroid, Final Fantasy VI, Sonic 3, Sonic & Knuckles, Virtua Fighter 2, Doom 2, Ace Driver, Alpine Racer, and Tekken. Well guys, that's it for 1994. Be sure to like and subscribe for more content, and we'll see you next time when we revisit 1995. Later.